First Utility is the UK's leading independent energy provider. Uh, been around for about seven years, uh, three quarters of a million customers now. That's nearly one and a half million uh, gas and electricity endpoints. And the primary reason we exist is to give our customers cheapest possible energy. We do that via you know, the best competitive tariffs. So technology is, is absolutely key to both cost to serve and to engagement. Uh, and we have to be able to provide a very cost effective platform that allows us to, to keep our, our running costs down. And we also need to be able to provide a very engaging platform. So we have both web and mobile, as well as IVR and SMS channels into our, our system. Uh, we're a very mobile first organization. The, the, the platform is, is made up of essentially three layers. There's a data layer, which we have Oracle and Postgres, Mongo, Cassandra, uh, which all supply different things. Uh, then we have a multitude of different uh, middle layer uh, languages and technologies. And then on top of that, we have web, mobile, IVR and SMS uh, as input channels. And as an online company, that's our key channel for our customers. They all come through that way. So uh, heavily involved in providing uh, good quality, engaging information to our customers to allow them to make informed choices. So API First is all about providing a, a full, concrete, rich set of data and capabilities that everybody can use. The APIs that my developers use to build websites and mobile applications and additional services are the same APIs that third party uh, developers can use and also what customers can use. We make no differentiation. So as, as an online company, uh, APIs kind of form the backbone of our platform and our web and mobile platform uh, need a complete set of APIs so they can access all the customer data. But as, as an organization, we don't just want to be building apps ourselves, we want to be working with third parties and eventually customers ourselves uh, so they can access their data. Now obviously you, you, we've got to protect them uh, with various access controls and not everybody gets read-write access and not everybody gets full access to the APIs. But the, 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 the strategy we have is to make our data open so that customers can engage with their own data, but also third parties can build their own applications and they can engage with our customers as well. So in terms of availability and, and security, uh, we rely on, on the Amazon platform to protect us from a denial of service. We then use you know, standard Amazon load balancing and, and multiple uh, horizontal servers to handle volume. The major benefits that we have from the, the gateway is a common, consistent, secure, scalable platform to build our APIs. The speed at which we can deploy new APIs, typically get an API out within two to five days uh, from inception through to deployment. And uh, the scalability, we, we don't have any issues currently putting 25 to 30 million transactions through it a week. And therefore, we have very good engagement with our customers. They are commenting on the app stores uh, that they'd like a new feature, they'd like to see something into the app. We typically can respond to that in two to three weeks. Yeah, one of the, one of the first benefits of the Axway Gateway is its scalability. Handle 25 million transactions a week and we know we're not even stressing it. The, the second benefit is the security model. Uh, we've had it independently pen tested and it's been proven to be incredibly secure. And the third benefit is its ease of use. We can deploy new services within two to five days, which for an agile organization is hugely beneficial. Uh, another benefit of the, the platform is our ability to support government initiatives. Uh, we've introduced, for, as the first suppliers, uh, a My Data initiative, and, and that's allowed us to provide weak authentication to a wide range of customers to access their data. So in terms of volume, typically it's, it's 20 to 25 million transactions a week, but because we're a, an energy company, we have customers who want to view their bills once a month, and they want to submit reads once a month. Both times we see significant increases in, in volume going through the system. And again, we don't have any problems with that.